the Parkview School District is running out of options in this economy. News 3's Jessica Arp is here with the school board's decision. Well, the school board meeting promised difficult decisions in western Rock County, and it looks like it may be the final year or years for two beloved rural schools. I actually went to kindergarten and first grade in this school. There may only be one hallway at Newark Elementary School. My parents both taught here, my daughters went to school here, and so there's a lot of history for me in this building. But it has fit generations of teacher Vicki Neal's family over the years. It feels like one big family out here, and when you come to work, you don't feel like you're really going to work. You feel like it's just your second home. Fewer and fewer students are headed to Newark and other schools in the Parkview School District. We've lost about 160 kids over the last 10 years. They're not all elementary age kids, but we, we do have room in, our, in two of our schools to accommodate the kids that are currently in three schools. The district recommending closing at least one elementary school to help plug a half a million dollar hole in next year's budget. The board voting to instead consolidate not only Newark, but nearby Footville, in with the main elementary school in Orfordville, taking a $3.8 million referendum to the voters in April to build an addition. Personally, I think that's the best option to, to unify the district. To, to get everybody in one city. Closing the two schools would solve the district's budget problem. We love Newark. They're amazing. The staff is amazing. The kids are amazing. But that's no comfort to parents like Heather Harnack. Son Chase is in third grade at Newark and is diabetic. Last week, actually, he went into diabetic shock and the staff was phenomenal. Phenomenal. I could not do it. I could not be a full-time parent and, and have him um, be there without that staff because I couldn't do it without them. Now if the April referendum passes, Newark and Footville would likely remain open for another year until the addition was built or the board may choose to close one of those during construction. If the referendum fails, the schools would likely close next year and students would be moved to portable buildings to be purchased for Orfordville Elementary. There may be some further discussion about this at their regular December board meeting as well. Story will continue to cover. Always sad to see those uh, small schools yeah. close if in fact it does happen. Jess, thank you very much.